Hello, I'm RJ Dent. I'm in my library and the one novel that I'm going to be looking at today is um, an American classic. It's uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. And it's become something of a, was originally something of a counterculture, almost text of almost scriptural status, but um, it's because, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a huge global success. Um, Ken Kesey's most famous novel. Um, picture on the front there of the actor Jack Nicholson in the f uh, from a clip with a still from the film, um, and it's um, it's an interesting uh, novel because it's totally different to the film in in the, that it's um, the story is narrated by Chief Bromden who's been certified schizophrenic, and then he tells the story of um, a new inmate in an institution, an, in, in, an inmate, uh, Randall McMurphy, who's um, psychopathic. So it's quite uh, quite an interesting uh, narrative technique that we've got a schizophrenic telling the story of a psychopath. Um, but um, it's been considered that uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is a a metaphor for America with the Native American with the free spirit Randall McMurphy and if you look at all of the other characters the nurse, Nurse Ratched and um, Harding and so on and so forth if you look at them you've got particular types uh, not stereotypes but you've got particular types taken from American society you've got the conformist you've got the cuckolded husband you've got the brawling um, McMurphy, you've got, as I say, you've got the uh, silent Native American and so on and so forth. So it's a, it's a microcosm, if you like, or macrocosm even, a representative of America, which is why it's, why it's possibly why it's endured. But having said that, metaphors aside, it's a, it's a fantastic tale. It's a really good story to read and um, it's interesting, exciting. The main characters grab you. You, you know, you, you. I, I read it and I felt for the characters and I sided with certain ones and hated other ones and it did everything that a good novel is supposed to do. And it also raised some quite serious questions in an entertaining way. Um, I'm proud to have it in my library. It's uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, and I would recommend that everyone read it.